guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Cooling and Heating. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at how to properly field wire our new MXZC hyperheat units that use our branch box. These units, as shown on the screen, are gonna require different and sometimes additional wiring than what you may have been used to with previous generations. So let's dive right in by starting at the branch box. The first step for wiring is to hook up your indoor units to the branch box. We're gonna use a 16 gauge three conductor with the ground. This will hook up like you're used to with the S1, S2, and S3 terminals. The next steps require power supply and our communication for the branch box. For the power supply, you can either run a dedicated line from the panel or you can use the outdoor unit. The communication cable hooks up to terminals M1 and M2 on the branch box. This is gonna be the communication between the outdoor unit and the branch box. This is required to be a 16 gauge stranded and shielded wire. The shielded cable uses a specialized exposed wire that wraps around the inner cables. This is used to protect it from outside interference such as high voltage wires. You'll wanna land the shield onto the S terminal. At the outdoor unit, you'll have two possible places for your M1 and M2 wires to land. The first will be for communication cable, while the second will be for central control. We'll want to use the one that says for communication cable. When wiring up this cable, it's important to know the shield terminal is gonna to need to be grounded. What this means is that you'll have to ground that shield terminal by using one of the accessory cables that comes in your installation kit. If you're gonna opt to power the branch box via the outdoor unit, here's the place where you'll wanna land your wires. Terminals B1 and B2. For additional information on installation and wiring, please feel free to visit our website at www.mylinkdrive.com. We hope you enjoyed this video. If there's a topic you'd like to see discussed in the future, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of Tech Tips and Homeowner Help.